Welcome to ASAP Bar Cloud. With ASAP Bar Cloud's standard and professional accounts, administrators are able to add and rename existing fields on any of the forms in Bar Cloud. In this video, we'll review how this is done on the asset form. To do this, first open a new asset record by clicking the Add New button on the top right. Next, click the Edit Fields tab on the top right of the form. Once the form can be edited, administrators can rename existing fields by double-clicking on the field that they wish to rename. Once the field is in edit mode, simply type in the new field name. With the new field name typed in, hit the Enter key on your keyboard, and that will lock it in. And finally, to save those changes, click the Asset tab on the top left. After saving all the changes, the new field name will be reflected globally in your database. All reports, data grids, and anywhere else where the original field name was present will now be updated with the new field name. Next, if an administrator wishes to add their own fields to the form, again, make sure to select the Edit Fields tab on the top right. Next, on the lower part of the form, you'll see Add Field drop-down menus on the left and on the right side, and this will be on all of the tabs on the form. Simply choose the Add Field option drop-down menu and administrators will have the option to add three types of fields, text fields, numeric fields, or date fields if they wish to add a calendar. Once the field type has been selected, type in the name of the new field. Once the field name's been entered, hit the Enter key on your keyboard, and again, that will lock in the new field name. When adding new fields to the asset form, administrators will also notice two icons to the right of that field, a small blue X and a small blue plus button. The blue X will delete the field and all of the corresponding data that was there. The blue plus button will allow the administrator to add this as a line item field on the asset receive transaction. To do this, click the blue plus button and confirm that you want to add that to the asset receive transaction. Once this task has been completed, select the asset tab on the top left to save all of the changes. To view the field that you've just added to the Asset Receive transaction, close out of the Asset Form and click the Receive button at the top of the screen. Here we can see that the subcategory field we added on the Asset Form has now been added to the Receive Asset transaction. Finally, if administrators wish to add their own new tabs to the form, this can be done by again clicking the Edit Fields tab on the top right. Next, select the white plus button to the far right of the form and then enter in the new tab name. Once you have the new tab name entered, click OK. And after entering the new tab, administrators will have the add field options both on the left and on the right side of the form, allowing them to add the additional fields they'll need for the new tab. If administrators wish to remove the tab, click the remove tab link on the right side and then confirm that you want to remove this tab. Additional options that administrators will also have while the form is in edit mode include the ability to select the pencil icon next to the corresponding field. This allows users to determine whether the field is visible and editable by specific user groups. To remove those permissions, administrators will simply uncheck the boxes to remove those permissions. Additionally, Administrators can determine if a field is required by selecting the checkbox on the lower left or not required by deselecting it. Another option administrators will have is to hover over the gray plus buttons. These will allow them to determine if this information is visible on transactions and if so, which transactions it is visible on. Once the changes have been made, simply close out of that box and hit the asset tab on the top left to lock in the changes.